Hello guys, got another video for you. Hopefully this one's really good. I think the other ones have been too, but here's another one. Um, you have kids or you have devices that you want to turn off at a time. A good example would be bedtime or dinner time or when you're supposed to be at school or you have a business but you don't want people connecting to the internet past five o'clock maybe where I live, we stop working at five o'clock, but from five o'clock to the next morning at say six. Or a perfect example, everybody asking me is, how do you block the kids' devices so when they can't use them like their Playstations or these two demo phones that I have right here? So today I'm gonna to show you this. I've already created the rule, but I'm gonna show you how you go to it and into stages and stuff like that. And um, I did this video already or not the video, I did this video, but I've done this already, but I found that somebody else created the thread online right here. And Sky Knight, who posts a lot in here, said you could do all this, but you could put a username into these devices. So these devices here. So before we put that in there, you have to tell the devices to do a certain thing. And I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you logging into the entangle box here. So 192.168.8.1. Password. So for this to work, now the way I've always done this is I created a SSID on my uh, network called kids. And all the devices for the kids get connected to that. And I just turn off the internet to that VLAN is what we wanna call it, that network. And it worked great. So what happens if you have more than one kid? Like me, I have one. But if you have two kids, maybe you want to set the policy to only block one kid that has to go to bed at, say, 7.30, and then the next kid maybe at 10 o'clock or something like that, or whatever. So you imagine the world's bigger than what you want it to be explained as. The, you can make so many different rules for this. But today I'm going to show you what I did, and then what we'll do is we'll do it the other way, the other username. So I have two test phones here. They're both connected to the network. So right here, what I used to do is I would go config, network, GACP server, and I see the two phones. So we got test iPhone and kids iPhone, right? So I would just go whack, whack. I'd keep the names of the phones in there, but you can get around that. So I would keep that. And then I had a Wi-Fi test network on that they or their kids network that they would block and in my rules here so if we go apps policy manager i had the kids devices rules here so we had web filtering virus blocking application control and i had a policy in there to block the internet so on this one right here for block i would just block the kids lab network which was a certain network and I had a time on that and I would block that and it would work. So to make this work, you have to create, sorry, I'm going over the place because I'm trying to remember how to do it all. So mind me, mind me. We have to, of course, have to have the policy in our protocol and you have to pay for the licensing for that. So here's our policy. Uh, and I have a couple policies right here. If we see this, we have kids, block internet, and then a couple other ones that we had there. So the block internet is just a firewall in there, right? And we have a rule and we go block. I just checked all these other ones by accident here because I was playing around with something. So we have a source, which is the lab kids. The destination was any, and that should be actually external. We'll change that back because I was playing around and all the services that I'm blocking right now. Done. So all this does is block the internet so it can't go out and do anything. Okay. Then we have the kids devices, which is those policies and those um, features installed, those apps installed on there. So now if we want to look at this to make it look, work, uh, see how it works, we have to actually go into the apps and then into policies and then rules we'll see our rules here now it's very important where to put the rules else they won't work if you put this block bedtime way down here it just bypasses all the other rules and just starts working so the first thing we have to do is make sure that 
on the iPhones, there's a feature called, let's go back into here. Uh, settings, Wi-Fi, you want to click on the SSID. You want to turn off private addresses because if you turn on private at private addresses and you don't block the actual network, the whole network, i.e. the kids network, it will still work. And I believe the reason why that is is because it just uses a different MAC address and then it goes around everything. So it like makes a fake MAC address. Every time you connect to the network, it's a different MAC address. And I just watched it on here. So if you turn that off, it'll work with that kid's username. If you don't, obviously it's not. So as I said before, I block the whole kid's network, but if you have multiple kids or networks and stuff like that, it can, it, it, you're blocking it for none for the other one, which isn't fair. So right now I'm going to show you on this phone, the other phone, uh, there's no SIM card in this phone. So right now you probably won't be able to see the screen, but Hey, I'm going to try. It's, it's not surfing the internet on this. Uh, it's face tracking right now. Sorry. Uh, did that work? Not working. Right? There we go. Sorry, it's face. I got face tracking turned on, so it's walk. It's monitoring me, and it won't do that. So right now it won't work. But I'm going to show you. In this group here, we have blocking turned on from a time. So I have a block bedtime for this for the for the whole labs kids. But we're going to change that to um, the other usernames, and I'll show you how to make the usernames in a second here. So right now it is blocking from 18:30 for the time that I'm trying to do right now, for examples, to 21.59. And then you have to make another rule from 21.59. Um, I think you have to go time again. No, you can't go time. So you have to go two blocks in, in here for this to work. Um, but if we change this, actually, I was gonna show you that, devices. So if we go devices, we see in here, uh, refresh. We see the kid's iPhone. So see how there's three kid's iPhone? That's this phone. And see how the MAC address changed? But there's only one MAC address. This MAC address, right? I think that's the 8F. Oh, I hate phones. iPhones, because one's up, one's swipe, and to get into it. So on this one, we have uh, Wi-Fi info, it's 8F. But if you have the private um, address turned on, it randomizes that um, in there. So then you can't use a MAC address to block that. So what, what I was told to do is, since this is 8F, we go onto the A, or AE device, AE device, which is this one, we'll call this kids1, and there's a username right here. Now Sky Knight said right here, how to do this and i'm going to put a link to this into the um, form and to help you guys out here so if we go username we're going to call this kid one and then the other phone which is which one is that i think it's called where is it test iphone we're going to make sure that the mac address so we're just making sure we're getting the right device um uh, let's see here e3 so where's e3 e3 is this one we'll go kid two kid two okay we'll save now if this was like a playstation or a tablet or something like that or some other device i don't know if that feature is still in there so you'll have to check unless you're just going to block the whole internet connection so if we go back to our apps policy manager and rules and just take out the whole interface of the subnet for the network. We'll just go at this and go delete, and we'll go condition, and we'll go username, and we'll go kid1, kid2, save. Now, let's make sure we'll turn off the Wi-Fi, turn it back on, Let's see if we got internet connection. No, 
no internet connection because we're in the time that's blocking it. Now, if we turn that off, uh, let's see here, turn it off. Let me go save. It starts working again. Yeah, you get a couple seconds and stuff like that. So perfect example to do that. Now, this works really good because I busted my kid and I'll admit it. It was like I went to bed at like 1030 and I heard this giggling. I'm like, what the heck? I guess she had her headphones on and she was under the covers watching YouTube. And I was like, uh-huh. So then I started going, mm-hmm, getting smarter. So now if we turn this back on, enable, save. Hopefully this is still recording because my top screen just turned off. But you guys are still there. It says recording. We'll give it a couple more seconds. And yes, you'll notice I have a microphone on because I got a new recording microphone uh, present for Christmas. Thank you. Uh, we'll give it a couple more seconds. And we'll go, we'll just search something in Google here. Nope. Can't get to the internet now it's blocked again so perfect example how this works so that's pretty nice that you can do that and i can see how the the username might be might be um more beneficial because then if you have like a bunch of kids you could put the different usernames in there to um, identify so instead of using like mac address and stuff like that because who can remember MAC addresses in your list as you're looking at this screen right here? You have a whole pile of MAC addresses. You go, oh man, I don't know who all those are. But there's so many different features you can have in Untangle to do here. So you can see also, I also have another rule in here or in the policy is kids network. All the lab kids network is all filtered through the target policy going out. So it goes device out. And if we look at this again, we go back to apps and we go kids device. We have these devices right here. So you could set a web filter in here to make it so they can't go to certain web pages, but on the default network, like say we're your wife or friends and family that are connected to a network, you can make it so they're not filtered and go to any website you want. It just gets a little bit tricky there. So hopefully that helps people out there. And I'll say thanks to Sky Knight and what's the other guy I wrote in here? Darth Keg Raider also said he uses the same thing. So thanks guys. That just opens up the door for more things you can do. Now you can get around certain things like this, but we'll wait for the kids to get smart for that day and some of that. And if that becomes a challenge, then you can just block the whole kids network right so that's my quick video for you guys hopefully it helps um, I know a lot of other people have been asking how to do that but uh, perfect example for this to be good for would be for businesses and stuff say you have a business and you have employees there and you don't want the internet working past a certain time create a rule just like this one so if you have questions how I did this or why I did this let me know Put a link below jason at jasonslab.ca um, email me um, i do want to thank the people that are watching the videos and liking them and subscribing because those are helping um what are we at right now we can go to youtube.com i'm not signed in here but let's go jason's lab what are we at we're at 136 subscribers and it's all because of you guys so thanks for watching hopefully it was helpful have a great night Talk to you later. Oh, and Sky Knight, I like your comments. You can do some good work here, so thanks very much. Bye-bye.